Hi everybody, Harry from B Physiology. Uh, today we're going to go over transfers. So there's a wrong and a right way to transfer, uh, but there's also many different ways to actually perform a transfer. We're going to keep it very simple for this video uh, and expand later on. So a common thing that I see all the time is people uh, getting themselves set up, hand out, hand in close, and then just muscling themselves onto whatever surface they're trying to get onto. That puts a lot of strain on your arms, a lot of strain on your shoulders, and keeping your shoulders you know, free of injury is so important because you use those shoulders so often and for so many different aspects of your life, injury to your shoulders could be extremely debilitating for your quality of life. Now, what we're gonna talk about is the mechanics of a transfer, um, and that is to make the job easier for yourself. At the moment, I'm sitting back, all my weight is on my hips and it makes it really hard to throw my weight around. But if I use a pivot point of my feet and I lean my chest and head forwards, I get my hands in a good position, gives me enough space to swing my hips and nice and close on the outside hand, weight comes forward until you have really light hips and then pushing down through the arms and transferring over. It's a little bit smoother, it's more controlled, and it's a lot less pressure through the shoulders. So again, shifting my weight all the way forwards on through my feet and turning like that. So I know you, what you might be thinking is, I don't have the seated balance, I don't have the arm upper limb strength, I don't have um, you know, the tone through my legs to support that uh, amount of weight. Everybody's different and working on those factors is very important leading up to learning how to do more, you know, difficult transfers. Uh, you know, this one's fairly similar level onto a bed. You could be going onto a lower couch. You could be going into a car that's quite high. You could be uh, transferring in and out of the bathroom. All these factors come into play and that's why it's so important to understand what you're doing. So typically in a session, we'd probably address five factors or so before getting into transferring. Uh, number one is weight reduction because the less weight you have to move around, the easier the transfer will be. Uh, number two is the strength in the upper limbs because the more strength you have, moving weight is easier. Number three is addressing your spasms and the tone in your body and how they'll affect your transfer. Uh, number four, uh, is your flexibility, especially around the hips and the trunk, also the chest, back, shoulders, all come into play. Uh, and then number five, your seated balance, or your ability to maintain your balance in these unstable positions. Thanks for listening, guys. Hopefully you found a few useful tips in the video today. For any more information, please get in touch.